If you use microcontrollers like the ESP32 or the 8266 and sensors or screens, you really need to understand the term endianness and you'll see it referred to quite a lot. So here's some extracts from typical data sheets. You'll see that the term big endian, little endian is referred to quite a lot. And the typical question you need to ask yourself is what data format do I need to use when I'm using this device? Is Do I need a big or a little endian data format? So here's a 32-bit number example. And I think the easiest way to think about this is how do you interpret the data if it's big endian data, you take the most significant byte first. If it's little endian data, you take the least significant byte first. The same thing applies to bits and bytes and words. So if it's big endian bits, you send the most significant bits first or operate on the most significant bits first and similarly for little endian it will be the least significant bits or bytes first. Big endian is usually used for network transfers and little endian is almost exclusively used for processors and sensors. Here's how you would send a big endian data on the left you would send the most significant byte first, so byte number three, then two, then one, then zero. And if you're sending little endian data on the right, you'd send byte zero, then byte one, then byte two or byte three. And the same thing when you're processing data, you need to process in little endian or big endian formats first. So either little endian byte zero first, and then big end in byte three first. So it's a fairly simple concept, but it can be confusing. In summary, then, big endian uses the most significant byte or bit first. Little endian data uses least significant byte or the bit first. And it applies to data words or bytes or bits. And nearly every processor uses little endian data format and networks almost exclusively use big endian data format but they can also use both so it's something to be aware of in your deliberations and calculations hope you found this useful i hope you found this technical note interesting and useful 